If you have a phone, I want you to pull out a Bible, a Bible app on your phone. And I want you to go to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. And I'm just going to read two verses, chapter, chapter 5 verse 2. And then I'm going to read one more verse and that is verse 8. And walk in love as Christ also loved us and gave Himself for us. An offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. And then let's skip all of that to verse 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 5 goes through this thing where he tells us that we are loved by Jesus so much that now we can actually experience a new identity as Christians. And then he begins to talk about these people who are, who don't have this identity. And he says they are fornicators, unclean persons. This is not something they do, it's something they are. He's not saying they're fornicating, meaning they're committing sexual sin. He's saying they are that sexual sin. He says they are sons of disobedience. They're not just having random moments of weakness. They're actually sons. They're living like that. And then he says this thing in verse 8 that caught my attention. And he says this, for once you were darkness. Not you lived in darkness, but you actually were darkness. Meaning darkness was your identity. Darkness was your name. Darkness was what you identified with. But he says, now you are light. Walk as children of light. If every person in this room has either identity crisis or they have their identity in Christ. One of the two. You either have your identity in Jesus or you have your identity in crisis. We live in a generation today where everybody is trying to find their identity. And if you don't find your identity in Jesus, by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior and experiencing the love that Jesus has for you, you will seek to find that identity in someone else. You will try to find that identity in your school. You will try to find that identity in your appearance. You will try to find that identity in your sexuality. You will try to find that identity in your gender. You will try to find your identity in being accepted. You will try to find your identity in sports. You will try to find your identity in religion. You will try to find your identity in everything. And then when you grow older, you will try to gra grab your identity from your degree. You will try to get your identity from your college and so many other things. But the Bible tells us something that as a Christian, your identity is not in your physical appearance. It's not in your sexuality. It's not in your gender. Your identity is not even in your grades. It's not in your degree. Your identity is found in the fact that you are loved by Jesus. Because you are loved by Jesus, something begins to happen. You experience new life. Jesus did not come on this earth to give you eternal life in heaven first. He came on this earth to give you a brand new life on the inside of you. That you no longer need to identify with anything externally, but you can identify with Him spiritually. And that is the greatest gift that you can experience today. It's the brand new life that Jesus gives. And this new life is not religion. This new life is not just new friends in church. This new life is not just having Jesus as a sidekick. It's a new hardware on the inside where you were once darkness. Not only you did darkness, not only you were attracted by darkness, you actually, your core being is now changed because of who loves you. Now, I grew up in a Christian home. I'm the oldest of five sister, uh, my sister who is uh, right after me and then my, I have a brother who we went to vacation or to visit Egypt and then I have one more brother and then I have uh, one more sister. Both of my parents, they're Christians. My grandparents were Christians. My great-grandparents were Christians. Some of them sat in jail for the cause of Christ and so I, I was like born in a Christian in a Christian environment. My family that I grew up in was so Christian not only we didn't have a television, we didn't have a telephone. Okay, well, well we didn't have a telephone because we were broke. But the television part also because we were broke. 
We were so secluded. I was not hanging out with non-Christian friends. We only went to Christian friends. We only went to Christian church and everything. And you would think that because I grew up in church, I found my identity in Christ. See, it's possible to be in church and not be in Christ. It's possible to be in church and struggle with suicide, depression, anorexia, bulimia, and anxiety. It's possible to be in church and wanting to kill yourself, constantly comparing yourself, constantly being drawn by your sexuality instead of your identity in Christ, struggling with your sin. Why? Because church doesn't give you identity. Listen, your Christian family does not give you identity. It's not powerful enough. You have to experience that in God. And yes, I didn't do anything bad on the outside for, for many years. But I still needed a Savior who could change. Because see, a family gave me good morals and good habits. My church gave me a good direction. But nothing can change me on the inside. This change on the inside, I cannot get by just coming to an altar saying, Hey, I'm a sinner. This is a supernatural work where God takes this out and puts something else inside. How messed up you and I were that God couldn't fix that stuff. He had to completely remove it and put something else in. The Bible doesn't say God sprinkled religion on darkness. The Bible says once you were darkness, but now you were completely different. You're light. See, I missed, I travel not a lot, but more than average people. I have missed a lot of flights. I remember one particular flight. I was going to South Africa and I was in Denver. I had my flight, I had two hour layover. I was thinking I have enough time. And so what I decided to do with my wife is I decided to uh, get some coffee in Denver. We went far, found this coffee shop, sat down and we were drinking coffee. We had a really, really good coffee. And I missed my flight to South Africa. End up spending a whole night in Denver. I learned something. As I was running to my gate now and running late and my airplane was leaving, I learned something very, very powerful. I got a deep revelation from that. You can be very close to a plane. You can be in the airport and miss your airplane. You can be in church in a Christian home but miss your identity in Christ.